Amelia Bedelia Unleashed, Chapter 7. But let's talk about Chapter 6. Oh, remember she was walking. Let me see here. Hold on. Where's the beginning of it? Oh, no, that's Chapter 5. Hold on. She was... Is she walking, Pierre? Oh my goodness, I can't find the beginning of chapter six. She was walking, Pierre, and those skateboarders were going to make fun of her, but then she asked if she could skateboard, if she could, and remember she did that, oh yeah, and then remember she did that crazy trick, but she didn't know how she did it, Remember she went around on the um, fountain on the edge and she had the umbrella that was slowing her down and she didn't fall, which was amazing. And then she and um, she and Charlie went to the diner and they had ice cream. Okay, it's called Puppy and then crossed out it says Dog Love. The very next day, Amelia Bedelia was riding her bike near town when she heard someone call her name. Amelia Bedelia, over here! Diana had ten dogs attached to one long leash. She was heading to the park, so Amelia Bedelia rode along beside her. I'm so glad to see you, said Amelia Bedelia. Was your blind date fun? It was perfect, said Diana. His name is Eric, and he adores dogs. I've been... Taking all of the dogs, I walk to him for grooming. Just look at what a wonderful job he does. Amelia Bedelia agreed that the dogs had never looked better or happier. They looked as though they felt important. Anything new with you? asked Diana. Lots, said Amelia Bedelia. She told her all about Pierre, skateboarding, and her afternoon at Pete's Diner with Charlie. What an adventure, said Diana, and a little puppy love never hurt anyone. Pierre is not a little puppy, said Amelia Bedelia. He's a big dog. When they got to the park, Amelia Bedelia begged to walk the dogs for Diana. Please, said Amelia Bedelia. I need to decide what kind I want. Thanks, said Diana, handing her the leash. These pups are pussy cats, but be alert. Oh, look here. Look at all of them. Oh, that's a big responsibility for a little girl. Before Amelia Bedelia could ask how dogs could be cats, Charlie appeared with Pierre. Amelia Bedelia introduced him to Diana. Then they headed off. There were no skateboarders, but plenty of squirrels, so Charlie hung on to Pierre, and Amelia Bedelia watched her pack like a hawk. Your dogs look great, said Charlie. Don't they, said Amelia Bedelia. Diana has them groomed. They walked on, but Amelia Bedelia could tell that something was bothering Charlie because he kept fid fidgeting. Finally, she asked, what's wrong? Are you worried about something? I am, Charlie said. I'm super nervous about the dog show on Saturday night. I want Pierre to look perfect. Hey, said Amelia Bedelia, maybe Diana's friend Eric can groom Pierre too. Thanks, said Charlie, but my mom wants me to do it. Okay, said Amelia Bedelia. Can I help you though? Well, said Charlie, I need to give Pierre a bath on Saturday morning. It's easier with two people, and my mom is super busy. Would you be able to help me? Sure, said Amelia Bedelia. I need to ask my parents first, but I'm sure they'll let me. I'll call you. After Charlie and Pierre headed home, Amelia Bedelia decided to give the dogs an extra long walk. She was exhausted by the time she got them back to Diana. She was way too tired to ride her bike all the way home. She called her father and asked him to come and pick her up. When her dad arrived, he put her bike in the trunk while she reclined her seat, let out an enormous, an enormous yawn, and shut her eyes. You're exhausted, said her dad. Are you dog tired or just tired of dogs? Both, she said. Today was a real drag. You didn't have fun? He asked. Oh, I had fun, said Amelia Bedelia, but with ten dogs, I was the one who got walked. They dragged me here and dragged me there. It was just one long drag. Amelia Bedelia's dad laughed. Ten dogs, he said. What kind were they? Amelia Bedelia counted them off. There was a Belgian sheepdog, 
an Irish setter, a German shepherd, a Scottish terrier, a Norwegian elk hound, an Italian hound, and a Welsh corgi. What a group, said her dad. It sounds like you took most of Europe on a walk. Wait a second, said Amelia Bedelia. I forgot all about the Dane. Wow, said her father, a great Dane. He was good, said Amelia Bedelia. Not really great. A great Dane is a kind of dog. He misbehaves a lot. They're really big. Diana says that he eats as much as a lion cub. Did you have any trouble besides the dragging? Asked her dad. A little, said Amelia Bedelia. I let two dogs play and I lost sight of them for a couple of minutes. Did you spot them? He asked. One was already spotted, said Amelia Bedelia. He was the Dalmatian. That's the spotty ones. What was the other one? Asked her dad. A Labrador, said Amelia Bedelia. The Retriever? Asked her dad. Yep, said Amelia Bedelia. I found her. Amelia Bedelia rolled down her window. She hung her head out to get cool air wind blow through her hair. She liked the sound it made as it swirled past her ears. Hmm, she said. I see why dogs love this, love to do this so much. Wait a second, said her dad. You're not turning into a dog, are you? Maybe you've been hanging out with them too much. Instead of that necklace you want for your birthday, we might give you a flea collar instead. Oh, Daddy, said Amelia Bedelia as they drove into their driveway. When they got inside, she told her mother about her day and about Charlie and his poodle, Pierre. I adore poodles, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. Is Pierre a cute little toy poodle? Mom, said Amelia Bedelia, he is a real dog. He doesn't need batteries at all. A toy poodle means it's really short. Then Amelia Bedelia remembered to tell her parents what Charlie had said about poodles and how they got their name from puddles. Aha, said her father. That's what we call truth in jest. But what I want to know is, did Charlie laugh at my joke about stepping in a poodle? A lot, said Amelia Bedelia. This Charlie kid is obviously a genius, said her dad. After that, it was easy for Amelia Bedelia to get, a, get permission to go over to Charlie's house. You know what, said her dad. Your mom and I would love to see the dog show, too. We haven't been in years. You bet, said her mom. It's a plan. Dun, dun, dun.